tamoxifen mechanically deactivates hepatic stellate cells via the G-protein-coupled estrogen receptor. Estrogens, steroid hormones with important roles in both men and women, activate multiple signaling pathways in cells through different receptors. Traditionally, studies on estrogen signaling have focused on the genomic effects of estrogen. Another estrogen receptor, the G-protein-coupled estrogen receptor, also known as GPR30 or GPER, initiates rapid signaling in response to estrogens without translocating to the nucleus. The G-protein-coupled receptor family, to which GPER belongs, is involved in a multitude of signaling pathways, many of which are implicated in disease. Furthermore, G-protein-coupled receptors are the target of approximately one-third of FDA-approved drugs. Tamoxifen is a drug that has been used in prevention and treatment of breast cancer for more than 40 years, and is a selective estrogen receptor modulator, with differing effects on the nuclear estrogen receptors depending on the type of cell. Tamoxifen is an agonist of GPER across all cell types. The pharmacology and lack of toxicity of tamoxifen is well known, and as such, we have chosen to study the possible therapeutic role of tamoxifen signaling through GPER. Tamoxifen has previously been observed to inhibit the contractile ability of fibroblasts in the disease Dupuytren's contracture, and also to reduce fibrosis in women at risk of breast cancer. We therefore questioned whether or not tamoxifen could have a similar effect in myofibroblast-like cells. We asked whether tamoxifen could deactivate them or bring them to a quiescent state similar to the one present in healthy tissues. We have focused on GPER signaling in hepatocellular carcinoma, the most common form of primary liver cancer. This disease is characterized by excessive deposition of the extracellular matrix, an environment containing fibrous proteins like collagen and fibronectin. This environment is generated and maintained by hepatic stellate cells, or HSCs. Both cancer cells and HSCs respond to this environment by sensing its rigidity in a process called mechanotransduction, or by sensing the lack of oxygen or hypoxia by activating the protein HIF1-alpha. These signals then promote growth of the cancer cells. HSCs remodel the environment by generating force from within the cell and applying this force to the extracellular matrix. They also respond to the external rigidity of the environment through a process known as mechanotransduction, which also requires force generation. HSCs need to be in a mechanically active state in order to perform these roles, and this state is characterized by activation of the small GTPase protein, Rho A. Our results show that tamoxifen acts through GPER and Rho A to mechanically deactivate HSCs, reducing their ability to generate force and respond to external force. We also show that mechanotransduction can activate the expression of HIF1-alpha and that tamoxifen can suppress this response. We used immunofluorescent staining of HSCs to look at the levels of phosphorylated myosin light chain, or PMLC, the active form of myosin light chain, which promotes contraction of the cytoskeleton. Here we see that PMLC, in green, is significantly reduced in HSCs treated with tamoxifen. Using antagonists of GPER, or GPER knockdown with small interfering RNA, we show that tamoxifen reduces PMLC levels through GPER activation. We quantified the amount of activated Rho A in HSCs and saw that tamoxifen reduced these levels. We also saw the HSCs became deactivated as they lost their activation markers of alpha smooth muscle actin and vimentin. HSCs also showed reduced expression and deposition of collagen and fibronectin in response to tamoxifen. To learn more about the mechanism, we then looked at the physical changes to the cells with tamoxifen treatment. We used elastic pillars which bend in response to physical force applied by cells. And we saw that tamoxifen reduced the ability of HSCs to generate traction forces, and using GPER antagonists and GPER knockdown, that this is achieved through GPER. We also used atomic force microscopy. In this method, a cantilever is used to indent a cell, and its deflection of a laser indicates the stiffness of the cell. We show that HSCs treated with tamoxifen were significantly softer than controlled HSCs. We then used magnetic tweezers to test how cells can respond to mechanical stimuli, and hence mechanosense the ECM rigidity. This method uses magnetic beads attached to cells, which we pull on using a magnetic field. Cells with intact mechanosensory machinery respond to external mechanical forces by becoming stiffer. A decrease in bead displacement with repeated application of force represents a cell reinforcing. We saw that tamoxifen reduced the ability of HSCs to respond to external force, 
as the bead displacement changed much less with tamoxifen. We also observed that the transcription factor YAP, which localizes to the nucleus with mechanotransduction, did not localize as much with tamoxifen. Interestingly, we also saw that YAP expression negatively correlates with GPAR expression in hepatocellular carcinoma patients. We further observed that the process of durotaxis, where cells move in response to a stiffness gradient, was inhibited by tamoxifen. In regards to hypoxia, tamoxifen reduced the presence of the hypoxia response protein HIF1-alpha, as well as its downstream targets, LOX and LOXL2. LOX and LOXL2 are important in promoting collagen crosslinking, and their reduction suggests differences in the ability of HSCs to remodel their environment. Different rigidity substrates were also able to change HIF1-alpha levels, with a 25 kilopascal gel promoting high levels for HIF1-alpha compared to a 1 kilopascal gel. These stiffnesses, 25 and 1 kilopascals, correlate with the rigidity of the external environment in diseased and healthy liver, respectively. The presence of tamoxifen inhibited this mechanotransduction mechanism. Our conclusions predict that activation of GPER from other molecules would also achieve the same mechanical deactivation, Indeed, the estrogen, 17-beta-estradiol, had the same effect on HSCs as tamoxifen, with mechanical deactivation, inactivation of myosin, and inhibition of the expression of collagen, fibronectin, alpha-smooth muscle actin, fermentin, HIF1-alpha, LOX, and LOXL2. Our results collectively show that GPER is a key mechanoregulator, and its activation by tamoxifen leads to mechanical deactivation of cells. This occurs through Rho A and myosin inhibition, leading to reduced force generation and mechanotransduction. Furthermore, tamoxifen inhibits the ability of HSCs to activate HIF1-alpha in response to external rigidity. Given the broad range of proteins studied that are sensitive to tamoxifen, the importance of GPER as a central mechanical signaling molecule emerges. As a widely used drug, our results indicating the mechanoregulatory properties of tamoxifen could be of great importance in future therapeutics.